Well, Janelle is on. Susie's on. Let's see. Oh, no. Gallery view. Okay. Hey, Heather and Beverly and myself. Oh, man. I crunched one of those. Those little salt packets that they put down in our products. I crunched one under my chair. So there's like little beads flying around everywhere. Everybody's muted. Heather, can you say something to see if I, if I can hear anything? It's not loud. Why is she loud? Let me see. I don't know. Maybe if I just talk louder. Should I talk louder? Hello. I, I can hear you just fine. <laughs> okay, I'll just get a little closer. I'm also trying not to be noisy because my kids are in the other room. And if they know that I'm doing something, they'll come running in here. I'm, I swear I have an argument over my head. Oh, my word. Summertime is getting very long with that crew. <laughs> okay, so I promise, promise to keep it short and sweet because it was my bad. I forgot to remind everybody. Got it this morning. I was like, oh, man, I forgot to send the link out about our first Monday call. So I hope for anybody who's watching this, uh, later on and now just remember just put it on your calendar first Monday call every Monday of the first the first Monday of the month trying to get together I think I've only had to reschedule one or two and I've only just not showed up to one <laughs> just one not a big deal at all <laughs> anyway um <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best to keep my act together um perfect I do not swear to be that is for sure um, I swear like tonight I was going to pick up something for my daughter for her birthday tomorrow she loves um uh what do they call them the um macaroons but they're so expensive and they're hard to find because they're there you can't make them in human environments but there's a woman in town who can make them and they're incredible and she used to live like literally a street over so I was like I'm on my way <laughs> and I'm like she doesn't live here anymore. And I was like, I can't, I'm not on my way. Never mind. I felt so dumb. She was like, don't worry, just get here whenever. So she's not getting them for her birthday. She's getting them after her birthday because she was too far away. I was thinking she was around the corner. But this is how my brain works. And I was supposed to show up for uh, some volunteer training today and I completely forgot. So I think I'm going to have to start putting, remember these things, Susie? I'm going to have to start putting them around my head. I just bought a whole new package of those. I'm them here, they're little reminders. They go on your, they go on, go on your wrist. And I think I'm gonna have to start doing them because I can't remember anything. It's ridiculous. So, this poor lady who's got me coming out to volunteer on Thursday, I'm like, can you remind me? I'm like, I know she's got like five thousand people to worry about, and I'm asking her to remind me. But anyways, <laughs> I think it's menopause. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> no, no. No. So, uh, we've got some exciting things. Um, I hope you guys will remember that your sales from um, June 15th to July 15th, if you can get to at least $400 in sales. I know that sounds like a lot, but sometimes if you just hunker in and you, you know, do a party with eight or 10 friends, even if it's on Facebook or just, to, you know, text them the specials, you could easily get to that $400. I think that's like eight people. If you got eight people to order something with the special, you could easily do a $400 party. Some of you are already halfway there. Some of you are like just a party. I mean, there's an order away. I think one of our new girls is only $50 away. But that $31 credit is going to be a really nice um, bump for you when those new catalogs come out. And uh, I can't wait to see the new catalogs. So speaking of catalogs, don't forget, this Thursday night at 9 p.m., um, or 8, 8 p.m., I'm sorry, you are going to be able to go and watch the live streaming of some of the new products that are coming out this fall. I'm hoping that's when we're going to see the new kits because I've got some ladies who really are thinking about joining the team, but they're just kind of waiting to see what's coming this fall. So um, remember, I'm doing a Facebook event. So if you want to be added to that event and you want to add some friends that are thinking about joining your team, this is a good time to do it because I'm doing the work. Might as well jump in on it, add your friends and let them see what's coming up. And then if they're ready to join your team, then a lot of the questions are already going to be answered for them. So make sure you get, you jump on that. If you're wanting to have some 
some possible recruits join on the, I called it a totally awesome career opportunity. So it's a taco. Um, so join in on that if you can. So let's see. Uh, we've got the incentive for the $31 credit. We're going to start talking about recruits. And remember, we still have time to earn some of those rewards. So remember what I said, don't just say, oh, I'm going to get six recruits. Really aim for that first <laughs> level. So you're going to get some new product. And uh, I've already got two stars. I'm super excited about the product. Susie's having her own giggle fest over there. Well, no, because I just remembered this taco joke that I just read this morning, and it was like taco emergency, and it says call nine one one. That's J U or J A U N J A U N, and it was hilarious. So. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Our Taco Bell burned down. <laughs> My husband's answers to everything is tacos. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. Definitely get jumped on our opportunity event. I'm doing the work. Don't do the, don't create your own where you're having to reinvent the wheel. Just add your friends and when they're ready to sign up, they're still gonna go to you. So don't worry about that. Um, so we've got that. For any of our new recruits, they can still register for National Conference for $99. If any of our team members have decided that they want to go to National Conference, it is $149, I believe now. But we would love for you to come. So don't, you know, miss out on national conference if at all possible. We do have some wonderful ladies going. So the ladies going to national conference, Linda English, Shelly Hernandez, Brittany Eichenbrandt, Susie Pierce, Juanita Slagle, Tamika Smith, myself, Brandy Allen, and Mandy Strickland. So um, I just, you know, was looking at the schedule. I'd and, love to go to conference. Uh, I would love for you to go. It's just so much fun. And and, you know, if you can't make it this year, then just kind of start a savings, like save 20 bucks a month from now until next year and make sure you get to go next year. Um, you know, me and Susie are going to bring our own food and try to eat out as little as possible and just kind of do this as inexpensively as possible. So you don't I'm have to save my money for the store, <laughs> saving money for the conference store. That's right. So if you're still interested in trying to do that, let us know, because I know that on the um, leadership page, there are still some directors and team members from them that have space in their rooms available. So quick don't... question. Mm -hmm. Is this the schedule already posted? I just posted it in our uh, team 31 going to conference page. Okay. Okay. So right they might change a couple of things, but for the most part, it's, it's been posted. Okay. Um, so that's that. And then the other thing is, you know, really push the exclusivity of this July um, ice cream stuff. It's just adorable. You know, talk about baby showers, new teachers, you know, just have some fun with it. Um, you know, do an ice cream party at your house, do a pool party, get someone to do a pool party and ice cream scoops, you know, just have some fun. Um, I was just, you know, kind of browsing through Facebook tonight. And I was so glad that 31 is just not gimmicky. Um, you know, we're, we're just, we're just really cute bags and we want to offer solutions to our women to help them make, you know, just have an easier life, whether it's going to work or taking a lunch box or, you know, helping a friend with a baby shower or whatever it is. And, uh, I'm just, I'm glad that we're not, you know, something that's going to be here today and gone tomorrow you know, bags are just not going to go away. So, um, if anybody says, you know, 31, do you, do you have enough bags? You may say no, no, we don't have enough bags. We've got lots of bags that we need. And so, um, also remember that every day there's a new customer being born. You know, I've had people who two years ago didn't really want a bag, but now this year suddenly they've just adopted a baby or, you know, their daughter just finished nursing school or, you know, they just got this awesome teacher and they want to give her a great gift. So there's always a reason out there for some of the products that we have. They're going to, you know, fulfill a need. So keep just sharing your ideas and posting those photos of you using your own products. Those are the ones that get recognized. Even when you borrow somebody else's like homemade photo, like they just took a picture of their, you know, shopping cart or somewhere at the beach with their bag. Even when you borrow those pictures, they don't get the same recognition that your own pictures get because people know when it's yours. So, you know, take those photos 
and share them on social media. Share, you know, how you're using your bags at the Trying to climb up the couch. Do what? Oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> Something about a couch. Um, but, you know, use those, use those photos. And if you've got a sample of those ice cream bags, you know, go out and about in town and share those and let people see them. Take lots of photos. Post them in your social media. Um, you don't have to be a social media whiz kid to use it. Just share it, you know, and get people to start a conversation with you. Okay. So for right now, the, new, the newness is... Our July exclusive, that customer special is the bomb diggity because they're excited about the fact that they can choose two of those. Um, you know, reach out to people, get those Facebook parties, get those pool parties, get those ice cream parties. You know, if you're if you have a really cute ice cream shop in your town, go do a party there. Um, you know, have some fun with that, and you know, just when it comes down to it, guys, we have so much growth left in this city. Um, in your own city, amongst your friends and family, co-workers. I, I loved what Eloise said. She's, um, she used to be on our team a while back. She just rejoined under her original sponsor, Juanita. And she said, just closed an $800 party. My coworkers were starving for 31. And you know, I loved that answer because it's true. A lot of people are kind of sitting up going, man, I need a new 31 bag, but my consultant doesn't sell anymore. And that's when you need to step in with, you know, having yourself available. When I was in the hospital with Brian last week, um, my nurse came in and said, uh, is that a 31 bag? And I said, yes. And she said, do you know anyone who sells? And I was like, well, in fact I do. And I have been for 11 years. She's like, oh my goodness, I need a catalog right now. And so, you know, she said that her girl had quit. So, um, you know, we, you know, as a, as a team that's beginning to grow again, we need to be stepping into those places where women are literally looking around going, wait a minute, where's my 31 woman? And so there's two things that you can do there. You can fill that void and have great customer service. Make sure that she knows you're available make sure that she knows what specials are coming up or even since there's that void offer the opportunity to her because if her cousin or her neighbor or somebody is not selling to 31, maybe she wants to fill that space and sell to those friends and families and neighbors. So there's lots of opportunity there. Um, and that's really the, about it. I'm going to, you know, we're going to do some celebrating with um, our sales last month. I know last month was hard. And a lot of people were like, can we just move on to July? I understand. <laughs> um, but June is a hard month. We call them the J months, January, Ju um, June, and July. And because those months fall around very busy seasons, sometimes people just stop and take a deep breath. And sometimes they're not buying. And sometimes we aren't selling. And so take July, hit the ground running. Um, remember that people do go through 31 withdrawals. So make sure when they you know, pop that head up and they're looking for their 31 woman, make sure that you're available and that they know it's you. Um, have catalogs in hand, have those mini catalogs on hand, hand them to those um, cashiers, waitresses, everywhere you go. The guy who changes your oil, he's got a girlfriend or a mama. So make sure he has your mini catalog. Um, when it comes down to it, your stuff should be everywhere. So that when people pick up a catalog and they see your name, they can say, oh my goodness, I need a new 31 girl. And uh, just to give you an example, um, last month I had a lady message me and say, hey, we used to have a girl um, that we would go through to get all of our bags for the in-home care nurses and she has quit. And so I told my boss about you. And so if you will send her a catalog, we will order our bags for our nurses. I had no idea what that would be. So the lady called me, I set up her link online so she could get the hostess rewards. And then she texted me and said, okay, I've got the order in. If you want to call me, I'll do my hostess rewards. It was a $500 order. That was before tax and shipping. So, you know, that was a ball dropped by someone because she didn't know who to turn to. It, there was probably somebody in her office that sold 31, but didn't have a name of anyone to turn to. So make sure your information is in your friend's hands. If they're not interested in 31, have them take them to work, put those mini catalogs out, you know, just ask them to carry your mini catalogs in their purse. And so the next time somebody says, I need a 31 person, your friend can uh, represent you. Anyway, so I'm excited about this month. I'm excited about the newness. I love, love, love new catalog release time. I get so excited. So let me ask you a question. What color are you hoping to see? Anybody? 
What do you want to see? I'm uh, guessing there's purple. <laughs> yeah, definitely purple. No, there's purple. But what's another colors you guys are hoping to see? What are your What are your customers asking for? I do get asked for purple all the time, so I wasn't surprised that that's showing back up. Hmm. Janelle's quiet. Heather's quiet. Beverly, what do you think? What do you hope to see? I was asked for purple as well yes. for graduation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we got some purple. What do you think, Beverly? Green. Yes, we haven't had green in a while. That would be really nice. We had a really pretty foresty green a few years ago that was just so popular. So I know we'll be dealing with some fall colors. What do you hope? I'd like to see some yellow. Oh, yellow would be nice. Yeah, I was going to say like okay. a gold. Yeah, yellows and golds we haven't had in a long time. Here's a, here's something hmm. funny. What are you hoping goes away? <laughs> what do you hope just disappears? <laughs> I'm kind of done with the plaid. How about you? Yeah. Yes. I no more the plaid, plaid is definitely not my favorite. I think I'm done we, with the plaid. We don't need. What, was what that? about the, the got dots? Uh, no, 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 no. That's a big seller. No, I love the got dots. Got dots. I'm over oh. the Lottie dot. The Lottie dot, not so much, but the got dots, I sell a ton. I love the got dots. No. Oh. Susie's not a fan. <laughs> it's so funny how different people react to different prints. And uh, that's one of the things that's fun about the, pre the, rev um, the preview that's coming up on Thursday. They're not going to show everything, but then at National Conference, I don't know if you know this, Susie, but you'll be able to go into the experience hall and touch and feel every single product. That's awesome. Yeah. And then that's when you start falling in love with the colors because sometimes the catalog doesn't really catch, capture the color. So I'm excited about that. I'm jealous. Maybe next year for absolutely, me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's something you just, you know, I didn't get to go for, I think I didn't go my first year as a consultant. Then I went in 2007 and then I didn't get to go for three years. That killed me. And then I haven't missed one since. <laughs> Cause once you go, you kind of just don't want to miss one. I'm shooting for next year. Hopefully next year I'll be able to go. Good. And, and um, one of the fun things that Susie's going to get to experience is something called um, world vision kidding. And this is for um, senior consultants only. Like I don't even get to do it. This is something they came up with before I, became a before I became a senior consultant so I didn't get to do it but they get to go in and pack um, world vision kits for um, uh, needy moms in third world countries and I've heard oh, it's a, that is awesome I've heard it's a really neat experience so I tagged you and Tamika and Juanita I think Mandy might be a senior consultant I, I can't remember she's under Gina but she'll be there um, and it's just an, a very neat experience. It has a huge turnout. You get to go and write little handwritten notes to these moms. We sent World Vision kits to Haiti, and we've also we also sent them to. Um, where were the floods here in America last year? Where was it? Louisiana. Right. Well, it was just about a year a year ago. Was it Louisiana again? I think so. It's always Louisiana. I know, I know. But we sent them there as well. And this, what they do is they they take um, they take some sort of retired thirty one bag. They fill it with all sorts of needs, and um, and then each bag gets a handwritten note from the senior consultants. It's really cool. Awesome. It's just it's really crazy. neat. So that's something they'll get to do. So anyways, any questions about July? I'm going to let you guys go. I always try to keep these really short, but I like to hear from you guys. And I'll be curious to see which patterns disappear and which ones, how many of you guys are going to be cheering and how many of you are going to be crying. <laughs> no, bring it back. <laughs> I'm down. I'm, I'm adventurous. I like all sorts. And I, I see this red moose that's coming. I'm like, red moose. I would have never put a red moose on anything. But you know, 31's never been wrong. Well, hardly ever. Watch red mooses be on everything starting in the fall. Wait, there's a red moose? There's that bag that you can pre-order coming up like on the 7th or 8th. It's going to be oh. justice exclusive. And the lining has a red moose in it. It's just uh -huh. adorable. Oh, my word, it's cute. So, is it reversible or is that the lining? It's reversible. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm going to walk around with a red moose on my shoulder. I can't wait. Absolutely. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. I'm excited. Yes, I think it's gonna be great. So make sure you get make sure you get that um, pre order if you want that to be in your hands. Having those hostess exclusives are great for booking parties. So um, you know, carrying those bags around, and when somebody says, "I love that bag," how do I get it? You can just tell them, "Hey, by hosting a party." You know. So. Do they usually do outlet sales around the new release of the catalog? No. Next okay. outlet sale shouldn't be till December. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just now they can surprise us because they surprised us with one in the spring, which I wasn't expecting that, but they must've just had a bunch of stock left over because it was a lot. Um, but usually it's because we have such a short selling season in December, they usually throw us a bone and give us that outlet sale at the end of December. Okay. So that's usually kind of what to expect. But one last thing before we go, I really want to encourage you guys, if you're struggling to keep monthly sales, I want to encourage you guys to um, look into doing a hostess of the month club. I have um, two hostess of the month clubs going right now. And that ensures that every single month I've got at least two party orders that are going in. Basically, if you find six ladies who will commit to one month out of six months that they are the hostess and during the other five months, they place at least a $35 order or more. And let me tell you, they always do more. And then what that does is, Every single month, one of those ladies gets to be the hostess and she gets to reap the hostess rewards. During the other five months, she is posting her order on the other ladies, so supporting their parties. And what this does for these ladies is these ladies are usually the ones who don't have time to party. They really don't get to get out at night and go to parties um, and really do love 31 products. And a lot of them are building a collection or really just stocking their gift closet. So maybe they're stock, like think the groups that are doing it now are working toward Christmas. Um, and so I want to encourage you to do that. Reach out to a handful of friends and get a ball rolling and just say, Hey, would you like to start my hostess of the month club? If you think you can get it going for July and start it now, do July, August, September, October, and November. Or if you want to aim for the new catalog and start August, September, October, November, December, give them a chance to pick the month that they want to be the hostess. And then the other five months they just shop. Does anybody have any questions about that? No, I think it's a great it, idea. It works really well. And I actually have three this month because I have one that's coming to an end, one that had already started and one that's starting brand new. So next month I'll go back to only having two because sometimes they overlap, but I basically have, six ladies in one group and six in another. Um, and if you, you know, you place an order from yourself every month, make yourself one of the hostesses. I'm actually a hostess on one of the rounds because I thought, you know what, the new catalog. And I think I'm going to do some shopping this season. So I made myself, I think I'm the hostess in September from one of the groups and I'm just a part of their club with them. Um, but I, I actually had such a great response this time that I, I ended up being able to have a second club going. And I actually have one lady who's thinking about doing my next one. So, um, it is a little hard to get your first one going because people don't really understand, but then once you get it really rolling, then when it's time to start a new club, sometimes they'll keep going. Sometimes other people are waiting to get on to the next group. I post about it in my private group and every single month I send out the customer special and some little goodie like Sometimes I'll get the inspiration set cards and break them up into a pack, you know, like two or three cards per host per lady. And they each get a little sample of cards or sometimes I'll send them each a key fob, uh, not a key fob, um, a nail file um, or those little notepads right now that you can get on the business supplies. But every month they get something. The very first month of the club, I have asked them what their favorite candy is and they always forget that they've told me. And then they're so surprised when they get their favorite candy in their hostess packet. And they're like, how did you know? I'm like, you told me, <laughs> I asked you, but it's just little things. I don't spend a lot on it, but every month they know they're going to get a little goodie in the mail with a copy of the flyer and whatever other specials going on and a reminder of whose party it is. And then I also tell them, remember, if you can't order this month, get a friend to order in your place. I don't let them just not order because that's not fair to the other hostesses. And so if I ever have a lady that's like, oh, you know, man, I had this, you know, I have a flat tire this month. I don't have the money. I just say, no problem. Can you ask a friend or a family member if they'd like to order in your place? And a lot of times they're like, oh yeah, perfect. I can do that. So, um, you know, I really make sure they understand that they do have to shop five of those months just so they're not surprised 
And then I make sure they understand that they need to make a commitment that, you know, just to be fair to the other hostesses. And I've only ever had one person, no, I've had two people um, fall out, but I just had somebody who was waiting and they took their spot. So it wasn't a big deal. Um, once that person realized she couldn't shop every month, she just said, I can't do this. And I just, I had another lady who said, if somebody drops out, I'll take their place. And so she took their place. So really it's just, do you have any, go ahead. Do you have any graphic, do you have any graphics or anything to advertise that like on Facebook or the VIM, our VIP pages? Um, I do. You'd have to, I, I mean, I'd have to look and see if any of my information's on there. I will post whatever I've got and then you can change it. Um, like I'll, I'll post my, um, posters of the month club letters and then you can download them and I think you can change them from your end or, okay. but then I use canva.com. It's a free site. I know that, um, Heather uses a different one, but I I'm just cheap. So I use Canva cause it's free. I think she uses pick month and it's not free, but it makes better. It does make better stuff. Um, but I use canva.com and I just made some pictures and I, if I, if you don't see them up on our team page tonight, or you remind me tomorrow, I sure will. I'll Thank you. Post everything I've got, but it really, okay. it is, it is handy to know, even if you've had a busy month, you've got a party going in, you know? Um, and normally it gets over. Usually my hostess of the month club ends up around 300, but the last couple of months they've been getting to five and 600 because the hostesses have been pulling in orders from other friends because they want to get that $600 bundle. So um, if you host as coach her, sometimes you'll end up with a $600 party instead of a $200 party. So if the, ho if the, con if the ladies only po um, purchase the minimum, it gets to like right at 200, um, which okay. is fine. If that's what you get, it's what you get. I mean, that's, that's way past your minimum for every three months. So it kind of keeps your ball rolling. So, all right. Yeah. I'll post all that tomorrow. I don't think I'll do it tonight because I think if I do it tonight, my I'll probably do it wrong because my brain's not working. But just don't let me forget. If you don't see it, say, hey, Tammy. Don't okay. But that's a good question. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Well, it's uh, good, good meeting, you guys. And I'll post the recording. If you guys have any other questions about what we talked about, just, you know, let me know. Okay.